don't take what I say in this video too seriously. This is mainly just because of fun and we just we just wanted to have some fun and we wanted to just you know talk about some cards well i wanted to talk about some cards because i've been seeing people play those cards and i wanted to talk about it and i talked about it with my chat it's all it's all for fun it's not necessarily something you have to follow or something you should follow these are just like some of my opinions and slash me being you know overreact overreacting and you know over exaggerating some stuff but um hope y'all enjoyed it there should be a video tomorrow uh about like a community event and look out some more events that i will be doing and we got some pretty big things coming up before, right before august 1st so make sure you make sure y'all check that out thank y'all what's wrong with minotaur you know milk why do you say that why do you say that why do you ask me what's wrong with minotaur give me give me two seconds to answer that question Give me two seconds to answer that question. All right. All right, chat. I made you a slideshow. Right here. Y'all see this? Y'all see the slideshow, chat? You see the slideshow? You see, you, you see, you see this? It says, cut these cards. And it's by me. Y'all see this? I need confirmation so I can know to continue. <laughs> anyway, this is the start of the YouTube video right now. I made a slideshow talking about showing cards that you should cut. You know, I am from the future. You should listen to me. All right. Some of these are pretty obvious. Some of these are not obvious. Some of these, you know, it's cards that we all like. But ultimately, these cards should be cut from decks. All right. So number one, we have, oh, oh, okay. Number one, we have Jimmy Olsen. Why cut cards when you can cut hair? That's a different profession. But as card gamers, we got to cut cards, unfortunately. Number one is Jimmy Olsen. He looks nice. Chill one yeti of the see like well, yeah he's he's just a yeti he's a worse yeti at least yeti is a four or five <laughs> at least yeti's a four or five all right all the beginners are gonna be all the beginners are gonna love him and then when you're really trying to optimize yeti was amazing when the card hearthstone came out but the thing is is that minotaur is not amazing minotaur is not amazing they have some really similar quality. Anyway, so do we cut the card down in the middle or do we split? Jimmy's face halfway or diagonal? Uh, you cut it like a pizza. So eight, uh, eight, um, eight different ways. That's how you cut the card. All right, this card needs to be cut. It is bad. All right, just because it's free doesn't mean it's good. It is a zero two with shield. Crypto is better because at least crypto can do one damage and give another thing shield this thing is useless you might run it in shield decks if you don't have all the cards but this card is pretty bad don't run it don't run it should we go on up to the next card should we go on to the next card yeah he's bad i've been bodied by clark kent once because of him exactly exactly Exactly. That's because you didn't believe in the heart of the card and you didn't get a battering. Anyway. He's bad. Don't play him. Next card. This card. Green Lantern Cadet. I don't think you even run this in Green Lantern decks. You don't run this in aggro decks. Agent Spacey, if you're watching this, cut the card. I don't care if it's free and it gives you more card draw at the end of the day. It's not good. It is a 1-2 free and it does literally nothing. It does- I don't even know who this guy is! I don't know who he is in the comics! Can anyone tell me who Cadet is in the comics? I don't know because he's boring! I got a walled by a 1-5 Cadet? After Simon Baz? Well, what deck were you playing, bro? 
generic is a generic dude he's the generic green lantern he has no name cut the card bro get the card out of here get the card out of here bro the card's back get out of here bro i don't even want to look at the screen anymore bro i don't want to look at the screen anymore this net card might be controversial it might be a bit controversial cadet is just <laughs> just dead a generic what do you mean what do you mean? You cut this card. Also, I should probably tweet I should probably tweet this out. I should probably tweet this out. Before I continue, I should probably tweet this out. Alright, I tweeted it out. I tweeted it out. Hmm. Sorry, Tedek Nerg. Stormtrooper Green Lantern? Bro, he has Stormtrooper AIM! This man has Stormtrooper AIM. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Is, is this him? Which one is he? I don't even know which one he is in the art. Read it backwards. Oh, you're right. No. Whoa, no, no, no. Zep, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is to deck near to lie, lie, near. You're right. It is that. It, it is that. You're 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 actually spitting. You're actually spitting. You're actually spitting. But this card is bad. Cut the card. I don't want to see it no more. No more. Do I want to see this card? No more. I don't even remember the next card, but I already know it's going to be bad. I already know this next card's going to be bad. Alright, let's wait a little bit, so the newer people can want, come in and see what we're doing. Do we have any more things to say about this card? Is there anything more to say about this card? Can we move on? Anyone in chat, tell Hal to stop putting it in my hand at the start of the game. Yo, Hal. Wait, Hal puts this in the- Hal can put this in your hand at the start of the game? That's so bad. Bro, imagine playing Hal Jordan and it gives you this. Imagine you're playing Hal Jordan and boom you get this dude. you're conceding You're con dude. That's crazy. You're conceding instantly. You're gone You're gone You're gone You concede I, I would concede I would I'm a unassault I would never play Hal Jordan in my life if he gave me this I Think I think all cards have a use except for this card I, I Except Maybe he has to involve. Maybe this card needs to involve into something. I don't see the evolution. I don't see the evolution. You cut this card. I don't care if you're running Green Lanterns. I don't care if you're running Harley Quinn. The card is bad. I am sorry. All right. I think we should be done. This. We 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 milked this enough. Next card. You said what if it was a two three? I think you probably still won't run the card if it was a 2-3. Am I crazy for that? If this said t if this was got buff 1 plus 1, I still don't think you run it. Because, like, it does nothing. It still does nothing. The only thing that it has is that it's a Green Lantern tag. And, like, there's more things in Green Lantern you want to buff than just this card, bro. Like, buffing a free card is not good. Because, like, you can just buff Hal Jordan. Or you can buff, like, Kyle. People are sleeping on Kyle though. Kyle is one of the best Green Lanterns. He's like, he's probably, he's like better, he's better than Kilowog. Better than Kilowog. 
in my opinion. Also, John Stewart, you cut that card. All right. <clears throat> Next. Chip. He is a squirrel. Don't get me wrong. But he, but he is not Sandy Cheeks. He is not Sandy Cheeks. You cut the squirrel. One plus one and aura. Is it gonna make Green Lan uh, Green Lantern surprisingly good? I am sorry. You might you might use this. Jesus Christ! This game is loud. Jesus Christ! This game was like yelling at me. All right. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Squirrel. He's, he's also not a girl. Squirrel Girl at Snap is better than Chip by a mile. Exactly, bro. Okay, what? You know what? Why can't, why can't he just... Why can't he just flood the board with squirrels? And give them one plus one and aura. Why can't he do that? If he would have gave everything in the thing one plus one and squirrel, if he would have been Squirrel Girl, he would have been a mile better. But this card is bad. Look at him. Look at him. He knows he's bad. Look at the smirk on his face. Look at the smirk on my man's face right now. You know that he's terrible. And he knows that he's terrible. But he's like, ha, I got you. I baited you. You're running me anyway. Even though you're, even though this card's bad. A 3-3 three, three with aura, but you have to spend another bronze resource, bro. Guys, look. Guys, look. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to blow your minds. Spot the difference. Spot the difference. He's chubby and doesn't even have a man bod. You're right. You're right. Is it a rescue ranger? No, it's a green lantern. I think he's better than Jessica Cruz, just but barely. Bro, Jessica Cruz is one of the best green lanterns. He just sucks. Just like a group gives your lanterns attack, which is way more valuable than giving a one plus one in aura. I don't think he's better than Jessica Cruz. He's on this list. He's on the list of cards to cut. Milk, what are you talking about? Milk, no. Anyway, I just want to say, um, he has to spend a whole extra bronze resources to get this, and this is already a bronze. Why? Why is he better than this? Would it be playable if he gave plus one, plus two? No. Okay, you know, if he gave a random lantern a hand, plus three, plus three, and bronze, you would run chip. If it was plus three, plus three, you would run chip. Chip would be good at that point. Right now, it's not good. Right now, he's terrible. He's bad. Right now, he's terrible. You don't play him. You cut him. Cut him. All right. We've got to go on to the next one. Bruce Wayne. I should have just put all the investment things in here, but Bruce Wayne, I cannot tell you how bad this card is. That's the same. If investments were free, if we just got free stocks, this card would be good. I think this card might be one of the best cards in tactics if investments were free. It would help out so many different archetypes. It's, it would be crazy. I still don't know the point. Bruce Wayne is only playable in Cyborg. Only barely. He's not, he's not playable. The only, the only, the only deck. I think if Aspects have a cost because gadgets are already free. Nah, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> gadgets are free. But gadgets do different things than investments. Investments just draws you a single card. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My thing is that the only deck you run this in is because it, this card is so bad. This card is so bad. You play them in the deck that this discards the card. You play them in the trickster laugh it up combo just because the card is so Bad. Should we go on to the next card? You have a few more cards. 
Do we go on to the next card? Wait, hold on. I think we missed the card. We gotta talk about this card. We gotta talk about this card. Guys, how do y'all feel about this card? How do y'all feel about this card? <laughs> Bimbo! Bimbo! Trash? Good. Good. For now? What do you mean for now? This card's always gonna be trash. I cannot see this card being played. I cannot see this card ever being played. I am sorry. Maybe good eventually? Bro, you got some copium. Bro, you got some copium. It's I. Would it be better later? What do you mean? How, how would this card be? It might be better later. It might be better later. It might. It might. I, but a guard that's a 2 2? I mean, draw is good. The draw is good. Like, here's my thing. The problem with this card is that it says draw. I mean, that it says guard. If this card didn't say guard on it, and it just said, if you have a recruit with shield, draw a card, this card would be better, in my opinion. I think I think guard makes this card so worse. I think guard just makes this card worse. Am I crazy with that? Because I play this card and I'm like, I don't want him to, I don't want, I don't want him, I don't want them to take this. It's, it's bad. I think if shield becomes better, yeah, you're crazy. Nah. Nah, you don't, don't you just want them to hit the thing? Don't you want them to hit the, the thing that has shield though? And not the, the guard unit? So that you can, they can, they have to trade twice into your shield unit, but not into, I don't know, this card's bad though. This card's bad though. I don't know. I think his stats are way too slow. I mean, way too small for might. If it was like a three... Because you want to attack with the shield unit. True. But you don't you don't want to trade with your shield unit most of the time. Like you can trade into them. But like. You don't want to lose your shield. You want them to trade into you. You want them to deal with the shield. So that they, get, they have to spend resources to spend your shield. If you lose the shield by attacking your units. Then that feels bad. You know. Because you want them to try to break through your shield. You don't want the, your shield to get broken by you attacking with that unit. You know? Unless unless it's unless it's a situation where you have to kill something. Like it's a must kill situation. Then you could do that. But like typically. Typically you want to. You want to preserve that. So that they have to spend extra resources to try to take the thing out. Take the shield out. That's why you use the dog on your turn then attack. Well it depends. You use the dog on your turn, and then, yeah, you attack, or you can clear, but you kind of just want to attack face. It depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. But I think in the most amount of time, you kind of just want to chill and be defensive. He's just, like, he's just not flexible, and that's his problem. He's very situational. And situational cards in this game are kind of bad. Just because of how, how you want so much cons- the game is so inconsistent that you want as much consistency as possible with this game. And anything that's situational is considered kind of bad in the long run of things. Because you just want things that are always going to be consistent, that's always going to work, that it's not, that's not super situational. Unless you're going against that situation a lot, you know? But yeah. That's my thoughts on Bibbo. I've been seeing this a little bit. I've been seeing this a little bit. People, people are getting packs now, right? People are getting packs now, and they're like, "Whoa!" I don't know. I wish I had Clark. We, what? Clark's dying. What do you mean you wish you had Clark? Clark dies so easily. Clark dies so easily. Turn one. They kill it, you feel bad. You're like, why do I run this card? He's a great turn one. I won't lie. He's a he's an okay turn one. If they don't have answers to him, the thing is, is that if they don't have answers to him, he's good. And then there's nothing like if you can protect him, he's good. 
but he is so situational, so situational, that he's not that great. If he survives, he becomes a 6-6 six -six with shield, yeah, he, yeah, it's good, it's good if he can do that. The thing is, is that he reads start, <laughs> he reads start, and Superman can, can't attack, but he, it's, you know, if there's better ways to protect him, he's good. Right now, there's so much stuff that they can do early game to clear him, like, that's why him and like Blue Devil is not getting as much play anymore. Just because having one health on turn one is such a detriment. It is such a detriment. And plus with Might and Steve Trevor coming out there. And so whoever's going turn two, you know, they get to see Trevor. They get their thing, you know, battering two. Like, there's so many things. There's so many things. I think he's bad, but I play him if he, if he turned into the big soups. Okay. You're right. If he turned into the 8-8 eight eight with shield, and your leaders are invulnerable. <laughs> he, um... I, I would play him. I, he would be good. He would be good if that, if that was the case. I like the card, don't get me wrong. I think, I think these cards are kind of cool. The transform cards. I mean, in this game too. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm saying just wait until, just wait until Beast Boy comes out, guys. Beast Boy is going to make the Transform archetype better, you know? Beast Boy is going to make the Transform, like, Beast Boy, what Beast Boy is going to do is that you're going to play all these Transform cards, and then Beast Boy's effect is like, okay, if you have a Transform card, you immediately transform it. I said a waiting a turn. And there you go, and there you go. There you go, Beast Boy becomes... Beast Boy helps the transfer archetype. Now you can, run, you can run Shazam, you can run Clark Kent, you can run all the all the transform cards. You know, would be good with Beast Boy. Just wait for Beast Boy, guys. Copium. Copium, indeed. I don't think I've ever seen a win more card in my life. This card is such... A win more card, it sickens me. Because there's no way you're going to run this card over Swamp Thing, over High Father, over Superman, over Truth and Justice, or even other unexpected help or dual force. There's better gold cards than Might. And even in Aquaman decks, this is still a win more card. It may have it may have that nine HP, but God, this card is so slow, and you rather just win the game at this point. You rather just win the game because this is just a win more. This is just a slow card. It might be used. In like ramp decks, so you could cheat this out early. But if you're running ramp, you don't want to cheat this out. Like, wh why would you want to cheat out an Aquaman and an early game that in like ramp decks? You know, kind of seem a little weird to me if you ask me. This card's this card's a cut. You cut this card. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry to all you Bat Cow enjoyers. I know there's a lot of you. I know there's a lot of Bat Cow enjoyers in my chat. Hello, <laughs> old Bat Cow. <laughs> I know there's a lot of Bat Cow enjoyers in my chat. But Bat Cow OP? Shut up, Davy. Davy, be quiet. Davy, Davy, be quiet. Don't listen to Davy, guys. Do not listen to Davy. Do not listen to Davy. <laughs> Why did you have to remind me? Why did you have to remind me, Davey? Why? Super late game deck. I think it's fine. What do you mean? I think this card sucks. I'm sorry. I don't think you run this card at all. Cause this is gonna this is like 
if you're not running tyranny or you're not running it you're not running like tyranny or like maybe energy you have no way to utilize this at all you have no you have no real reason to like utilize this effect and they're just gonna ignore it Batgirl turns on the bat signal yeah but like you other cards turn on bat signal what do you mean Next card. Oh, oh, oh! Minotaur. Oh, Minotaur. Guys. There are better cards. There are better, there are better cards to play than Minotaur. They're just better cards. I... What do you have against cows and bulls, huh? What do you mean? Minotaur's not even a bull! I eat meat. Best opener? <laughs> best opener? No, best opener is Steve Trevor. Best opener is Steve Trevor. You listen to get Wonder Woman. Exactly. Wonder Wo Mo Minotaur auto include? No, you're you're no it's not auto include. I can make a might deck right now that doesn't have Minotaur in it, and it would be fine. I hate furries. I never said that. Minotaur's not even furry! Look at him, he's muscle. He's more muscle than fur. He's more muscle than fur. And it would suck? No. It would be good. <laughs> What do you mean it would suck? <laughs> no, that's so many better cards. <laughs> you're telling me you're running Minotaur over than Superman? You're telling me you're running Minotaur over than Swamp Thing? Over than Superboy? Over than Highfather? Y'all, over than Truth and Justice? Nah. 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 There's no, there's no way I'm taking Minotaur over those cards. Because I at least, least finished the game. My, dude, you're op you're op you already have such you already have such great early game with might. This is just this is just a win more card. You win more with this card. This card does nothing for you. Sure, sure it's a three four. So what's a three four? So what? You have to compare other bronze cards still? Yeah, I'm not running this over than Antiope. I'm not running this over than Trevor. I'm not running this over than Superman Robot. I'm not running this over Wildcat. I'm not running this over than Crypto. I'm not running this over to super strength. What do you mean I got to compare it to other bronze cards? All those other cards are way better than Minotaur. If you have Minotaur in your deck and you're looking to refine it, guess what the first card you're cutting? This card. The first card you're cutting is this card. You're not cutting any other card. You're cutting this card. Gonna run all of those too? Exactly. There's not enough space to run these as well as this card. Exactly. That's why you cut this card. I'm not saying the card is bad. I'm not saying the card is bad. The card's good, but there's so many other things that you want to run in Might that are just better than this card. So you cut this card. I don't know how many times I've seen this card been played, and I screamed. I don't know how many times. This card, it is garbage it is there there it is there it is Ark arkham guard this card is so by the way why is it called arkham guard instead of arkham guards there's more than one guard on this art is it just which arkham guard is it which one is it is it this guy because he's in front or is it like which arkham guy where's the rule for deck out you lose if you deck your opponent out. I have two cards in my deck right now? Uh, well, you lost, buddy. I'm sorry. GG's, buddy. I heard Gar Arkham Guard can kill Clark Kent. No, it can't. I mean, it has one, it has one attack. That's one attack. There's a mouse behind my fridge. What do I do? Um, Peanut butter. 
uh, you put peanut butter, or you give it a key, and then it opens the key to your heart, and it opens the Kingdom Hearts, and then once you go to Kingdom Hearts, you meet a guy named Sora that's there, and then once you meet a guy named Sora, you meet Riku, and then Riku's also there. This card's bad, yo. That's bad. I don't think- I- 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 I even made a free-to-play account, a free-to-play deck, and I still cut this card, and I was happy. And I still cut the card. Even in free to play, you don't play this card. I'm sorry. And budget decks, I don't care. You don't play this card. And with that being said, guys. Oh, with that being said, guys. Oh, that that's that's the end.